we can place Cuisinaire rods end-to-end -to, -end to model additive and multiplicative relationships. Let's look at some examples. First, an additive relationship that involves combining or partitioning. This model shows that when we combine three quantities of different values, they are equal to a larger quantity. It also shows how we can partition the larger quantity into the three smaller quantities. Next, let's look at an additive relationship that involves comparison. Here, we use the rods to model subtraction. By comparing the two known quantities, it is clear that we need to find a missing addend. In this example, the missing addend is dark green. Now let's look at multiplication. Multiplication can be thought of as repeated addition, where the parts being added are the same size. For example, we can see this representation as red plus red plus red plus red is equal to tan. Therefore, 4 times red is equal to tan. Multiplication can also be thought of as scaling. Here, we want to increase a smaller quantity n times to equal a larger quantity. In this case, light green multiplied by 3 is equal to blue. Finally, let's model a relationship that combines additive and multiplicative structures. In an additive equation, white plus white plus white plus black is equal to orange. Repeated addition is often more efficiently modelled as a multiplicative relationship, giving us 3 times white plus black is equal to orange. Here's a quick recap of the five additive and multiplicative relationships that we have modelled using Cuisinaire rods. When students are confident using Cuisinaire rods, you may wish to assign values to the rods to explore commutativity. You need to assign the rods values equal to their lengths. For example, pink equals 4 and dark green equals 6. Building trains shows that six pinks are equal to four dark greens. Use of the rods in this way helps to show that multiplication is commutative. Watch these videos to learn more about how to use Cuisinaire rods in Key Stage 3 mathematics.